How do you how do you clip things again? <laughs> we have to improvise sometimes. Yeah, right the here. clip broke, so yeah, now right we're here. yeah. You actually is it? It's um, you snap it open and then which side you want it on? Uh, right there's okay. Oh, just on your jacket. Yeah. Lower. That's fine. And if you might hold on that, and I will run a cable over here. Yeah, I want to get out of the picture. I want to be able to get. I think you're okay. Yeah. Oh, in the picture? I'm okay. Science for me. I'm sorry to hold you up. It's all right. That's a good shot. <laughs> <laughs> Down if that's okay. No, no. Yeah. Right there is fine.
kind of turning your body this way. Thank you. Join it. back here just a little more. I get you to state your name and then the title of your position. Okay, um, I'm Lou Zeke Mitchell, uh, a lead singer, uh, formerly of Lou, uh, Lou Jake and the Blunders. And are you also in a new band now? I have, yes, I do. Lou Jake and the Soul Searchers. Oh, I like that. So tell me a little bit about yourself personally and also about yourself as a musician. Um, well, I finished school at Lincoln High School in Gainesville in 1962. And uh, we as a singing group was the first African American to perform at Florida Homecoming Gator Ground, which was in 1960. And uh, we had something like 60,000 people that particular night. And uh, as a matter of fact, they wanted us so bad but I made a proposition that it would, it would be but one way for me to participate and be a part of the Gator Ground, and that would have to be if blacks could come also. So in 1960, blacks was able to attend Florida Homecoming Gator Ground. As a matter of fact, that was called the biggest uh, 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 party in the country during that time, Florida Homecoming Gator Ground. So you were in high school when you I was, 15, I was 15 years old. What was that like? Uh, it, was, it was fantastic. It was it was an accomplishment. We had a good singing group, the Blenders, which was consisted of Ernest Long, Harold Lewis, Henry Lewis, and Buzzy Walker. Uh, they all was students at the at uh, Lincoln High School. I mean, you say it's an accomplishment, but what does that mean to you? Well. Uh, it means a lot to me because I feel that uh, we had a part of bringing the people together back in 1960 when it was when it was hard during that time when blacks and whites was not mingling together. But uh, it, it felt good when I knew that everybody was enjoyable. You know, we accepted each other as one, and uh, we, we we had a beautiful time. Black and white, we held all hands together. And take me through that night. What what was the feeling when you first went on that stage? I was a little nervous at first, but after I got into the song and started singing, as a matter of fact, the song that I did, I did two or three of them. And the one that really got to the audience was called Last Night I Dream. And uh, and that was a dream for me, you know, because we, 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 we did something that was they thought would be impossible, but it happened. And uh, God had a whole lot to do with that. You know, he brought us together, and uh, I enjoyed that. And when you looked out in the audience, what did you see? I saw so many people, you know. As a matter of fact, they had something like 10,000 bleachers for blanks, but all of a sudden, everybody was sitting everywhere. Because uh, the 10,000 seats they put up, uh, they was full, so everybody just started sitting next to each other. Everybody was mingling together. And, I mean, has anyone talked to you about it now? Did anyone come up to you and say anything? Yes, uh, the students, uh, the faculty, you know, uh, everybody said the show was fantastic. And uh, it was something that we, that we could never forget. We actually talked to a UF historian today, and he said that that event was really a pioneer. It was a pioneer. Nation. It was. What does that mean for you, knowing that you were involved in that? What can I say, you know? Uh, me and the group, the Blenders, which three of them are living now, one is deceased, we felt good behind that. And uh, that motivated us to go forward. And during that time, uh, we, we, uh, we went to New York, we recorded more records, and we started playing all over the South. We played up North, we played in New York, and uh, we was booked solid at the University of Florida for two years. You couldn't even, 
you couldn't even get a book in here because we were booked up solid. Everybody wanted us. And uh, we played every fraternity and frat house at the University of Florida. And I mean, as you guys have moved forward, the university and the community has obviously evolved. Yeah, the, 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 the community was behind us. As a matter of fact, they had us in the parade. Uh, they had a parade that day. We had a float and everything. What was that like? And they closed the school down for that day. Wow, they did? Yes. What was that like? Uh, it, was, it was fantastic. It had to be. 15 years old. 15 years old. <laughs> and what do you think now, coming back onto campus, all these years later? I can, see a, I can see a lot different. I can see people together now. They don't have that, uh, you sit here and you sit there. Everybody's everybody. And, uh, it's, it's good. It's good to be able to say that, because uh, as a matter of fact, they honored me last year in 2010 for being the first African American uh, 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 black performer to perform at Gator Brown. I felt good, and I felt that we had a lot to do with it. What is? I'm not sure if you can remember. I'm sure you do. But what's one of the songs that maybe you guys had written at that time or performed at that time that kind of represents the whole significance of that day? The last night I dream. What are some of the lyrics in that? Uh, last night I dream of holding you tight. What a lovely dream that it was, and it was beautiful. Why does that? Why is that so significant? Uh -huh. Why is that so significant? Because I believe that the song did a lot for what we was doing that particular night. It was a dream that came true. And I know that this Friday you'll be performing with a new band. Yeah, we'll be performing at the Kicking Devil right behind Sonny's Barbecue off of Waldorf Road. And I will be performing with the, the Fabulous Soul Searchers, which is a fabulous group. <laughs> they have to come and see them to accept them because they're beautiful. And everybody know about Little Jake and the Soul Searchers. So, Little Jake and the Soul Searchers, different band, but do you still kind of hold the same meaning? And yes, I do. Is there anything that you want to add? Is there anything that you want to add about that event that maybe you didn't say? Well, about, about what? Uh, about 1960 performing for a great theater gal. Well, 1960 was a good year for us. I thank the Lord that we was a part of it. I thank the Lord that we was able to, uh, to give something to the peoples to accept and realize that this day had to come. And it did come in 1960. For the people to be able to join hands together, have fun together, and enjoy the show together. And that did something for me as well as the fabulous blenders during that year. And just one last question really quickly. What about the future, the future of Gator Growl? The future of Gator Growl have came a long ways. During that time, it was free to come in, you know? And I, and I think now, uh, uh, it's even better now, you know? Even though you have to pay to come in, but it's something that the people should be able to patronize every year. Because it motivates the team as well as the community. How did it come out? Wonderful. Yeah. Yep. What time will it be on? It'll be on uh, Friday night at 5.30 and 6 on channels 4 and 9. Huh? Friday night on uh, channels, 4 and, channels 4 and 9 at 5.30 and 6. At 5.30 and 6? Yep. So 5.30 and 6, I'll be able to see it. It's, it uh, it'll air sometime between uh, 5.30 and 6 hour. Oh, yeah. Okay. Then, okay. All right. Yep. Not quite sure when. But yeah. But it'll come on at 5.30. Yep. All right. Thank you, That's guys. channel 4. Yep, channels four and nine. Okay. Yep. All right. Thank you It'll so much. It'll probably be on the website also. Yeah, also yeah. the website. Yeah. On the website? Yep. Yeah. MyGTN.tv. You got that, Paul? <laughs> MyGTN.tv. That's it? Yep. All right. All right. Thank you so much. Nice. Thank you. It was so nice meeting you. You got your CD then? Yep. We won't forget that. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Pleasure. Thank you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Where is the girl that was working with you? Jordan, the uh, blonde girl, yeah. she's working up in uh, Charleston, South Carolina. Which station? Which station? SOC, maybe? I'm not sure of the initials. Yeah. You ever see her? I, uh, I actually went up there and saw her earlier in the year. She's doing well. When you do it, tell her I say hello. I will. I'll send, okay. you, your, I'll send you your best. All right. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.
with you. Yes, Mary. Well, I forgot to tell you that that's 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 NBC station, and they said to be all over the state of Florida. It'd be in Jacksonville and everything. All right. Thank you.